Hello everyone, this is Oshoni from Chinta.com. Today I am really happy to share with you a beautiful story of mathematical learning. This is exactly what I dream of. This is how mathematics should be learned and done. So this story is of a student at Chinta called Shorudna. If you were new to this channel, we are into mathematical Olympiad training. Our students start from as early as class one, and then they go up to IUQM, RMO, INMO, American Math Competitions, ISI, CMI entrances, and so on. So you can go to the link in the description and check, more, check out more about our work. But coming back to this, so this is the story of Shorunna. So she studies in class six, she lives in India, and this particular document that you are seeing in this video is a diary of her work in something called a math circle. And uh, as she writes that in this math circle session, she worked with two grade six students. Remember that she herself is in grade six. And these two students are from a rural school in West Bengal, India, Shopnapur, a rural school. And Chinta has collaboration with rural schools like this. What we do is we ask our students who are working in our Math Olympiad program, we ask them to go ahead and work with the rural students and help them also do mathematics. This is an experimental learning process. What happens is that when kids get this sort of responsibility, they become excited about learning the mathematics that they're learning. They become purposeful. And that is very important. In education, you have to be purposeful. Remember, during the time of Renaissance, when there was not organized schools like the ones we have today, students would go to an artist or an engineer and work as an apprentice. They always worked on some project that gave them a purpose to learn more. Somehow that element of purposefulness is missing from education in these days. And at Chinta, we try to address this issue. What we do is we say, okay, you are coming to our Math Olympiad program, you are learning, but then Put what you have learned at work. Be purposeful about it. So how can you do that? Spread your knowledge to the kids from the farthest corner of the country, to the rural schools, and make friendships and build relationships and communicate mathematics. And uh, 30, 35, 40 kids from Chinta are actually participating in this many parents take a lot of interest in this process and this is one such kid and what they do is once they take the mathematics circles they write down at least we ask them to do that they write down their experience i mean it's not just about what problems they used what sort of communication happened in that class did the students open up right away or did you use some sort of a trick to start the conversation? So look at this. So what she says is, okay, I have used Google Meet. So this is happening virtually. I used Microsoft PowerPoint as the virtual board. Okay. So she's explaining what she's doing. This is Sharudna. Okay. Now she starts with the first problem, which is Alex has two ropes of length, one and two meters. He cuts both ropes and so on and so forth. So this is a problem that they are doing, okay? And then look at what's happening in the diary. It's quite interesting. She says, when I started this problem, the class was relatively quiet and none of the participants were willing to share their views. And then she says that, okay, another thing happened. One of the participants faced internet issues. Remember, these are students from remote areas. So she had to drop out from the particular call. So that happens a lot. 
However, the other participant thought the answer was 15. Okay. And even though the answer was wrong, I was glad that she answered. After all, a wrong answer is better than no answer. This was a sixth grade student chronicling her experience in a math circle class. So beautiful, right? She is actively trying to engage with the kids. Think about that. So then she explains how they, you know, uh, looked into the problem. So they, 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 they did some experiments. They wrote down a particular type of table. So notice that she's not using a formula. She's rather experimenting with numbers. So this is very important. Uh, after solving this, look at this slide. After solving this, she realized that the number of pieces row R was divided into would be half of the number of pieces rope S was divided into. So through some experiment with the pattern of numbers, the data that is given, they are coming to some conclusion. They are observing a pattern. This is mathematics unveiling itself right in front of your eyes. The kid from the sixth grade, Sharunna, is actually helping another kid from a rural school to check certain patterns of numbers and reach a generalization. This is fantastic. This is exactly what should be happening, right? Now, uh, so then they did the experiment a little bit more and they found something, something. So this is very nice. This is exactly what need happen, needs to happen. Then the second problem Cosmic roots are established between nine planets of the solar system. So there are, uh, there is sort of nine dots, you can imagine. And she will actually uh, get to the picture in a moment. But she also explains how this problem introduces to the basic concept of a graph. So she's using this to introduce graph theory. And she draws this beautiful picture. And... She explains that understanding this problem is very difficult, but the solution is easy. So, so the participant who was there, so she was surprised, Sharna was surprised that the participant was able to uh, solve this problem right away. And there is a diagram associated with this and so on. So this is a very nice sort of little problem that is an exposition to graph theory, very simple, but again, she explains what's happening in the class. This is exactly how a math circle diary should go. And then there is the next problem, the third problem, and I think there is one more. Yeah. So there are, there are four problems in this, or five problems actually. So at last, she says that I'm very happy that I got to lead the session. Participant excelled in the problems. Uh, we did both discussed uh, and thought about problems and uh, unfortunately the other one had an internet connection issue and so on. So this is this is very, very live version of mathematical learning, right? It's not that a teacher is coming and teaching and just going away and the student uh, students are dozing off. No, this is a student, working with another student, actively trying to build communication, not using a ton of formulas, but observing patterns and trying to think how can we observe, how can we change the observed pattern into generalization. If you are a student at Chenda, if you are a participant in our Math Olympiad programs or Physics Olympiad programs or Computer Science Olympiad programs, I strongly encourage you to be a participant in the math circles. I will share this particular uh, PDF file, the math circle diary of Sharana with all of you and the link in the description. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this sort of journey in mathematics, feel free to comment and subscribe to our channel and let us know what you think. Okay. Uh, thank you. And that's all for today. Keep on doing good mathematics and stay well.